The Charleston Gazette Mail is a West Virginia news outlet that decided to publish an op-ed from Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders titled, Let's Stand Together to Protect Working Families. Now, they also promoted said article via Twitter, saying Senator Sanders says, we need every Democrat calls for Manchin to support the Build Back Better bill. So let me just pause for a moment and reflect on how awesome this is. Bernie Sanders had an op-ed published in Manchin's state. He's going into Manchin's home turf and he's calling out Joe Manchin. He's telling Joe Manchin's constituents about how he's not representing their interests. That is exactly what you need to do. This is this is perfect. Now, um, in this op-ed, Bernie Sanders, he goes through and he explains specifically what is in the Build Back Better Act, why people need it, how this will benefit people in West Virginia. And uh, he ends by saying this. We're going to read a couple of paragraphs. This reconciliation bill is being opposed by every Republican in Congress, as well as the drug companies, the insurance companies, the fossil fuel industry, and the billionaire class. They want to maintain the status quo in which the very rich get richer, while ordinary Americans continue to struggle to make ends meet. I believe that now is the time, finally, for Congress to stand up for working families and have the courage to take on the big money interests and wealthy campaign contributors who have so much power over the economic and political life of our country. Poll after poll shows overwhelming support for this legislation, yet the political problem we face is that in a 50-50 Senate, we need every Democratic senator to vote yes. We now only have 48. Two Democratic senators remain in opposition, including Senator Joe Manchin of West Virginia. In other words, dear people of West Virginia, this is your senator. These are the policies that he is denying you. What are you going to do about it? Are you going to keep electing someone like this who very clearly is aligning with wealthy campaign contributors? Because this is what Bernie Sanders is saying. He's calling out their corruption here. The people who are against this. They're doing so at the behest of their donors in the pharmaceutical industry, in the fossil fuel industry. So Joe Manchin is very clearly taking a stand against you. These policies benefit you. A Medicare expansion, paid family leave, maternity leave. These are things that I know you want, but your senator is denying you of these things. That's what Bernie Sanders is doing. And it's powerful. And you know it's powerful because Joe Manchin was absolutely Furious. So he actually decided to quote tweet the promotional post for the op ed, which featured the quote from Bernie Sanders, and he attached his own statement, which reads This isn't the first time an out of stater has tried to tell West Virginians what is best for them, despite having no relationship to our state. Millions of jobs are open, supply chains are strained, and unavoidable inflation taxes are draining workers' hard earned wages as the price of gasoline and groceries continues to climb. Always oh, so concerned about workers. Senator Sanders' answer is to throw more money on an already overheated economy, while 52 other senators have grave concerns about this approach. To be clear, again, Congress should proceed with caution on any additional spending, and I will not vote for a reckless expansion of government programs. No op-ed from a self-declared independent socialist is going to change that. He's coping so hard right now, and you love to see it. I mean, if you have to cite your agreement with Republicans, the anti-vax stop the steal party, to try to prove a point to your constituents after you've been embarrassed by someone who actually is fighting for them, you kind of know that you're on the uh, losing side of the argument there, Manchin. But Joe Manchin, he can't really respond to the substance of what Bernie Sanders is saying. If you read the op-ed, I'll link to it down below, it is mostly consisting of an explanation of what these policies are and how they will help Americans and the people of West Virginia. So Manchin isn't going line by line and trying to debunk what Bernie Sanders is saying. He's not saying, no, you don't actually need this Medicare expansion. No, you don't need uh, this or that. He's just saying, oh, well, you're an out of state or you don't know what we're dealing with. But that's not very persuasive. And Bernie Sanders is speaking to the substance here. And it's really hard to reason against Bernie's argument, considering that these policies are all extremely popular, as illustrated by the CBS News and YouGov poll. So he told Joe Manchin's constituents what's in the bill. It includes all of these things. They're incredibly popular. And now he put Joe Manchin in a position to where he has to say, yeah, I am actually denying you all of these wonderful things. It's it's great because Bernie Sanders effectively has backed Joe Manchin into a corner and Joe Manchin can try to feign concern for his constituents. Oh, well, you know, gasoline prices are up. But at the end of the day, these are things that they need. This isn't reckless spending. These are things that are vital 
and they would help your constituents, and you are the one single-handedly who's denying it to them, along with Kirsten Sinema. So not single-handedly, but you're one of the two people who need to get on board. Bernie Sanders just called you out on your home turf, and no matter what you do, you can't look better after the situation. Uh, so, I mean, you're not going to come out on top. The best thing that we can hope for is that the people of West Virginia acknowledge that they have a senator who's not looking out for them. They have two senators who couldn't care less about them. They're only representing their donors, and Bernie Sanders is educating them, showing them this is the reality of the situation. Joe Manchin isn't fighting for you. He's saying you can't have all of the, these things. It's not because he cares about the budget or the deficit or reckless spending. He's representing his donors. Bernie Sanders made that very clear. And now Joe Manchin is trying to save face, but he looks terrible and he should look terrible. His constituents should know that a corporate shill is their senator and he doesn't care about them. He cares about his donors. He cares about corporate America.